Okay, so for long division, we have, as a reminder, divide, multiply, subtract, bring it down like the song. So I have to look at first step, divide. How many times can four go into section number four once to fit in to other friends inside? So how many times can four go into six? It only goes in one equal time. So I do want my one up there. My next step is multiply. One times four equals four. My next step, subtract. Six minus four equals two. And then my last step, bring it down. Bring down the five. So now I'm working with 25. So now I see how many times four can go into 25. And I count up by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. If I go over one more time, it hits 28, which is over 25. So only goes in six times. I put the six above my five. My next step, multiply. Six times four is 24. My next step, subtract. 24 minus, uh, 25 minus 24 is one. Then I bring the nine down. I'm working with 19. How many times can four go equally into 19? That'd be a total of four times. Four. Next step, multiply. Four times four equals 16. I subtract, 19 minus 16 is going to be three. I have no more numbers to bring down. I also know that four cannot go into three. So I know that four can go into 659 a total of 164 times, 164 times. And then I have the remainder. Remember we look at our number we're dividing by and we have the remainder and we flip it so we have 164 and 3 fourths.